be looking at the lower section uh, or the fluid section for the H unit. We're gonna be tearing it down, rebuilding it, and showing you what goes into that. First, we're gonna take our top plate off. Just remember these plates will clock in any direction. So when you pull it apart, make sure you have it clock the way it come apart. Come straight off. Next, we can loosen the top cup. If it's tight, you can put a quarter inch dowel pin in and, and loosen. Rod without spacer in it. Next, we can pull our bottom fittings off, adapters, and then we're going to pull our bottom ball out. This is our bottom check ball. We'll set it to the side. Now we can pull our two halves apart. Unlike the top plate, this one can be clocked in very soon. and our opening. Now we can pull our piston everything out the bottom. Set that to the side. I'll show you there's the O-ring, the body spacer, and then we're gonna have a seal in the bottom, a lip seal. Pull it out. That now that's this is humble. Now we can go to our top. Pull our two seals out. That's disassembled. Now we can move to our rod, displacement rod. There's a bottom check ball on the bottom. Unscrew it. We'll set it to the side. And we we want to make sure and undo both of our shafts that come apart. Just like that. Now, we'll go move our Check balls back, take a pair of needle nose pliers. We can open, pinch our clip, pull it out, pull our spring out, pull the ball out. And this is where our ball and seat is. We wanna inspect this, make sure this is very clean, including the ball. This is where we're gonna change our O-ring out and reassemble. Ball in first, spring goes in the small end towards the ball. We're going to reinstall our clip. Now there's a groove that this goes in. Just like that. And then we want to verify our ball is working. We push it up from the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing to this one. Pull the clip out, spring and ball, change our O ring, and reassemble, make sure everything's clean. Now we can start reassembling. On this particular pump, we're, not, we're, we're putting it together dry, no lube. So we'll have our lip seals, our new ones. We're gonna have the O-ring facing down. There's two of them, both of them O-ring facing down. Then we're gonna have our cup and our guide. This doesn't matter, it doesn't matter which way it goes in, as long as it's in there. Then we're gonna screw this together. We're not gonna tighten it up here. We're just gonna leave it loose. Now we're gonna put our shaft through the top and you can see it's chamfered so it doesn't damage the seals. We're gonna push it through the top. And now at this point, we're gonna put blue Loctite on the threads. And then we're gonna screw it in. Tighten it down. Like I said, we've changed our O-ring, the new O-ring and cleaned out. We're gonna screw this in the bottom. 
At this point, we're gonna put a wrench on this and on the end. And we're gonna tighten all this at once. And get it pretty tight. We don't want these coming apart. Now at this point, we can tighten our cup down. Lay this to the side and get our bottom body. Now we're gonna, on the bottom one, the, the self-healing seal faces up. So we're just gonna push it down until it stops. Just like that. Then we're gonna put our spacer in here. And then our O-ring. And there's a little groove that sits down and just push it all the way in. And at this point now, our, our shaft's chamfered where we can assemble this back together. Just like that. Now we can put our four screws back in. And you just want to snug these down. There's an O-ring in there that's sealing everything up so they don't have to be really tight. Just try to make them all even when you do tighten them. Now we can reinstall our bottom check ball with our new O-ring. Like I said, again, all these O-rings come in a kit. So you should have everything you need to rebuild this component. You can use uh, Teflon tape Screw this down, tighten it up in any direction that you need it pointing. And now we can reinstall our plate. And remember we're clocking it. To where it needs to be. The four screws in. And again, just snug these down. That concludes the lower section.